inside Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Miami Marlins and the Toronto Blue Jays. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just a set to go. And on the hill today, Kevin Gossman. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. It's got that splitter, and it's a pitch that swings and misses, calm fast, and may come often. Very difficult to pick up out of his hand. All right, ready to go here. Leading and off. now, Luis Arias. The second baseman, Luis Arias. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. It's a good start with a leadoff knock. Really nice job staying with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it to the infield. Making the move at first and on the run for Miami. John Birdie. John. No outs. Runner at first. And at the plate for Miami, Tim Anderson. Swing and a miss. 0-1. One, one. Oh, one's the count. Birdie aboard here at first with nobody out. Oh, right to the backstop. Oh, two the count. And now... Definitely trying to work down to get that play ball. Got away enough any chance of that good job of moving position now a hit could make that wild pitch really stay man it's second got him swinging for the K couldn't hit the fastball at the knees get at the plate when he's using the whole field he was out in front there just needs to let the ball travel a little more and his timing will be back on track good pitch for the strikeout Here's Josh Bell. On the ground, down the line, and it's foul. And here it comes. In first, going to count one and two. Activity in the bullpen. Trevor Richards up and listening in the pen. Swanson also getting better. Space is empty. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. No score as we head to the first. Here at Rogers Center and on the hill today, Jesus Lazardo. What should we keep an eye on here? A power pitcher that is going to pitch aggressively with the fastball. His fastball velocity ranks near the top in the league. We'll also throw the slider, but if you're a hitter, be ready for the fastball. You're going to see a few of them during your at bat. So coming into the game now on defense, John Birdie. He'll play second. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. the letters sliced hard but foul the 
the pitch. Outside low, and the count is one and two. Swing and a miss. The fastball at the knees. Hope is shut up to the dish. Known for his late inning heroics. That one finds the corner, and that is strike one. And a swing and a miss. He was really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. Swing and a miss. Struck him. Anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start a day, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction causes you to serve a cookie, and instead of being a solo shot, it's a two or three. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. And nope. that's off that's inside. the inside edge. And that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball there. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Hey. Swing and a miss. And a count one, one and two. two And that skips in the dirt. And now the lefty. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. We played an inning. No score. Toronto all set for the start of the inning here's the third baseman Jake Berger the right hander back to work Off and that's outside ball one. ball one fouled off here's a one one Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And quickly one away in the second. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Jazz Chisholm Jr. And that one fouled off. at second a little bit high and one and one james kingsley kingsley's pretty well respected around the league yeah when you talk to players i think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about players appreciate the job he does back there yeah and that's kind of all you can ask for really just a fair to go out and have success fastball almost got him there the first in time two up two down at the top of the second not a bad outcome in this it's not a hit but at the end of the day it's a good Brian De La Cruz in the box now takes strike one I mean that's perfect location right on the black I mean, over and over So tough to do anything with as a hitter. Just missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. 
Hard ground ball, base. It's around the board and picks up RBI. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite. The box got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. So two down. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. Just oh, missed. Two outs. And now two and nothing. Out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate right here. He's working inside. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Come on and miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's Justin Turner. And it's second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. And the next pitch is way outside. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. And he deals. That just missed. He walked him up four pitches. Well, this came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. First and second, no out. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And there's no doubt that he'll feed off the energy from this. Hey. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. The 0 1. Good okay, eye in that point. spot. The 1 2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the pitch. On the ground, right side. Sneaks through, base hit. Throw comes back in. The tying run stops at third with nobody out. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you Sure. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Now it's the second baseman. Golden opportunity right here. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Slider for a track. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle and get through this he gets some points the winning run on second base battling here as he fouls it away and I think ultimately you want to tie him up get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield 
Hits it. This is it's a strikeout. No, oh, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That had hit me ridden all over it. And clearly, he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you, a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Because he can change this game rather quickly. Line drive, base hit. One run to runner around third on his way to the plate. In comes the winning run and the Blue Jays. See something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan, a walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the bats of everybody that witnessed this here today. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew, MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.